Hey guys, this is Dr. Apura Bhopat, one of the first year internal medicine resident at Marshall Clinic Health System. Uh, I thought of making a video down the line five months. I started my residency at around June and this is almost a five month. So I thought of making a video which would be, which would be a best reflective of my experience so far. So before I tell you the points of what do you get as an internal medicine resident here, if you just ask me how would you rate out of 10? your experience so far i would just say 10 on 10 and the reason of it the you know the privilege of practicing internal medicine resident in the united states is number one you have amazing leadership you have awesome co-fellows and the most important thing is you'll be able to practice evidence-based medicine here in contrast to experience-based medicine so I think these are all things uh, which really fascinated me and I'm so happy and grateful that I'm privileged to practice medicine in, in the United States. So if you just take one, one thing at a time, let's say talking about the salary of interim medicine resident, I think that's one of the crucial part. You are, you are paid very well here. The average salary of interim medicine resident in entire United States Combining all three years, PGY1, PGY2, PGY3, the average salary is around 64000 And at Marshall Clinic, we are paid around 64000 in first year of intermedicine residency, which is increased as you progress in your PGYs, like PGY2, PGY3. And every year as an inflation, you get 2% rise in your salary as well. Now, if you, if you compare... Um, the salary of Marshfield Clinic, it's its very competitive as compared to the cost of living at Marshfield. Um, you get very good cost of living. It's very cheap to live here. And at the top, you are paid a competitive salary, which is of no competition. So you, you get you get uh, paid very well when you when you come here. And the salary is almost around 350,000 350, when you practice as a hospitalist here especially at Marshfield Clinic, um, you get a signing bonus and all those stuff when you pass out your residency or you sign as a hospitalist after you uh, are done with the residency at Marshfield Clinic. So salary is pretty pretty awesome here. If you, if you talk about this house, um, this is almost three bed with a basement, with two car garage, and you get a kitchen. The center house is, is, is around $900 a month. Um, if you if you were to practice um, internal medicine residency at somewhere in the New York, your most of the salary would just go go in paying rents and high cost of living. But you are also paid a little high salary in New York, given the cost of living in that area. You'll be paid around seventy thousand dollars a year. So good cost of living here and very nice um, environment to live in. It's a small town. You you know you get to know people very well because it's a town of just 20,000 here and everybody cares uh, that's that's the most important people are nice here second thing um, I would talk I would like to talk about is uh, work-life balance so as an intern which is the first year of internal medicine residency you are entitled to work less than 80 hours a week and that's the rule of ACGME if you are above 80 hours a week you can um, tell to your leadership that hey, this is exceeding my work hours but most of the time it doesn't happen the program is is uh, very good at making the schedules of of the residents so work-life balance is awesome here you get to do five months of wards in first year of internal medicine residency and then i think four months in second year and three months in your third year and you get to do electives you also get to do away electives you can say um you, you want to go somewhere outside the United States to get some electives. You want to go to electives to Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic. You can also arrange away electives um, in your residency here. If you talk about the cap of patient, the interns are capped at 10 patients. You, you, know, you, can, you can take care at max of 10 patients in a day. And your team, which includes you as an intern and your senior resident, which could be the second year or third year. And so with, with the team of two, you also have an attending who will be supervising you. So you have a team of three and the entire team as, is at cap of 14 as per the ACGME rule. So at max, you, you have responsibility of 10 patients and your team has 14 patients. Most of the patients like seven, eight patients would be carried by an intern and senior would carry two to three patients and would also help you supervise and 
uh, help you make assessment and plan for the patients you admit. So it's a pretty good uh, way of learning because ultimately the crux of doing a residency is you get time to learn apart from taking care of the patient. So if you, if you take care of one patient, you, you always get enough time to go to up to date, look for what, what can be your next step in management. And this also takes a lot of enthusiasm on, on our part that, you know, you are taking care of patient, you are putting the orders and also at the same time looking at looking up up to date to, you know, what should be the best next step in management as per the evidence. So that's about the work-life balance here. Now, apart from the salary which you get paid, which is around 4,000 a month, if you just deduct the taxes, um, you're also given meal card here of $1,100 a year. So you have cafeteria here. You can just go and buy some snacks for your call day. Uh, you also get educational fund of around $1,750, which you can use for you know going to the conferences, ordering books, buying courses you get $1,750 as an educational fund you also get one time $300 reimbursement for any electronic gadgets like oh the Apple watch and maybe iPhone or whatever you want to you want to buy as an electronic gadget here you get one time $300 reimbursement as well so that's that's about the perks outside of what you are getting paid the educational fund, the meal fund. And one of the best thing about Marshfield Clinic here is the research center. The research is very, very good here. Again, it takes a lot of enthusiasm on your part to be an active part of the research research team. You also get a um, research allowance of $10,000 for your residency to, you know, to come up with a research idea. We have a team who can help you with manuscript writing, who can help you, you know, with the literature search, and you know um, the entire thing which you might need for the research so re we have a dedicated research center at marshall clinic which is kind of very cool which can help you you know if you are at all interested in, in research and the fellowship fellowship rate um, fellowship match rate of marshall clinic is excellent so when you when you are down the line three years of of your residency you'll be a strong hospitalist you'll be a strong primary care because our, our program is focused um, very much on inpatients and, and primary care. So you'll be a very, very competent hospitalist and primary care. And the fellowship match rate from Marshall Clinic is excellent. You, you, we have in-house cardiology fellowship and two of our um, residents who passed out their internal medicine residency at Marshall Clinic are, are one of the two fellows here at cardiology. Um, you can match into GI at UW Madison and Palm Crate. These are all fellowship options which which students have matched uh, in previous years. So good fellowship match rate, and you'll be trained well as an hospitalist, hospitalist or primary care physician, which is kind of awesome. Apart from this, um, you can buy in in almost five to six months. You'll be almost settled. You can buy whatever you want to buy. You can you can be. You'll have your car. You'll have you can you can rent a good house. Um, you can buy all your dream gadgets: iPhone, MacBook, uh, Apple Watches, productivity stuff like you know, like I am interested in some lights and all those um, tech stuff. Whatever you're interested in. So I think that's that's pretty cool. And if you just compare how much you might have to take out per month, if you just buy a car, that would be around. If you if you buy a car around thirty three thirty four thousand dollars, like I have Toyota Rav four, which will be around five twenty dollars a month, and with insurance could be of around hundred dollars a month. So that's pretty affordable, including rent and groceries and and even buying a car. So you'll be almost settled in around four or five months once you match in the United States. And at last, it's about the satisfaction. If if you think that, you know, no matter where you are, if you are thinking that you are forcefully working, you might not be as satisfied as, as you know, you want to work anywhere. So satisfaction is something which is really important and you will get time for yourself when you like come as a come as a physician here. Of course, the first year of, of residency is almost always challenging no matter where you go the learning curve, the learning curve of first year is kind of this and then this this is second year this is third year 
and then again as a hospitalist at, hospitalist at attending the learning curve will be very steep so it's fun to learn new things and it's always amazing to learn evidence based medicine which is almost and required an essential thing for the patient care another highlight about our program in marshall clinic is point of care ultrasound we have stethoscopes you know you auscultate you know your chest your heart sounds you know you rely on your auditory skills um it's now the time when you visually see something and believe so at the bedside you can do quickly ultrasound you can look at the volume status the cardiac chambers the you know ivc size and almost everything you know that requires a skill which our program has a curriculum for point of care ultrasound training um that's one of the you know best fascinating thing i i came across uh, uh when i matched here so that was about my whole reflection of my five months coming down as a resident here and if you have any questions on like how you should do and pursue your usmle if you are just starting to for preparation for usmle make sure you check out my app usmle strike you can get it on the play store you can also get it on the app store and you just have to enter the code kfkvq the links are below in the description and if you have any questions feel free to text me or shoot me a message in instagram and i'll be very happy to help you take care and thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe thank you